Hi, this is Vicky. I've been asked to do a video to show you how to pin and stitch the nurse's cap for the Winnipeg COVID-19 2020 response. I have my three pattern pieces here, the hat band, the crown for long hair, and the two straps. So there are two straps or tie ends cut out of this. We'll set that aside and do uh, I'll show you something to do with the straps later. Uh, about these two pattern pieces, I've been cutting multiples and so I have actually glued my pattern pieces to some cardboard to make them more durable and then for the pleats and the notches I've cut small wedges out at each pleat line and each notch on both sides and also for the notches on the hat band. That allows me to then cut small snips at each wedge to mark the pleats and the notches on both the crown and the hat band. The hat band also needs a notch at the fold line which is the center front so I just slip my scissors into the fold and make a small clip on both sides. The clips are about an eighth of an inch long. They're in the seam allowance so they will not interfere. Once I've done that I'm going to pleat the crown piece using my notches. The, the pattern shows to fold the pleat from the dotted line to the solid line. So I'll find my first two notches. There's the upper one for the dotted line and the lower one, sorry, the solid line, the lower one for the dotted line. I'm using a pin to help me. I'm going to fold on the dotted line and bring it to the solid line and pin close to that fold. My next pleat, there's my solid line and there's my lower notch for the dotted line so I fold up on the lower notch or dotted line, bring it to the upper notch or solid line and pin close to the fold. And then the third pleat, same thing, my lower notch is the dotted line, I bring it to the notch for the solid line and pin close to the fold. To do the other side, I'm going to turn it around and now I'm working in the opposite direction. So now the dotted line is the upper notch and the solid line is the lower notch. So here's the first uh, upper notch or dotted line. The lower notch or solid line is there so I fold it on the upper notch bring that fold to the lower notch or solid line and pin close to that fold. Second one is here. That would be the upper notch or dotted line. The solid line is down there. I fold on the upper line, bring the fold to the lower line and pin close to the fold. The third one, there's my upper notch or dotted line. Here's my lower notch or solid line. Fold and bring fold to the lower line and pin close to the fold. I would then take this to the sewing machine and baste or stitch those pleats down. I have a 3 8 inch seam allowance so I'm going to stitch it just a little less than 3 8 of an inch so the basting will be inside the seam. I'm not going to show you how to sew a basting line so I've done one where I've basted those pleats and now I don't have to worry about the pleats coming out while I'm pinning. Now I have to pin this crown piece to my hat band piece. So the hat band, when it's cut on the fold or after it's been seamed, when you open it out it looks like this. When it's finished, it will be folded this way, so you can fold that and press that fold. That's going to be where the hat band fits around the wearer's face. Once that's pressed, you can open it out again. So there's a notch here where it was originally folded for cutting. That's the center front. And then there are notches on either side.